What's going on guys? Today is November 1st. I am in eastern Montana deer hunting. I'm going to deer hunt here for a couple days or until I get my buck. Hopefully I can get a buck today. I'm going to probably shoot the first, you know, halfway decent buck I see and then head home. I've been out west for a while and this is kind of my last tag. So um, I've never hunted here before. This is an area that I was told by a friend that has pretty good deer hunting and so I'm hiking in here to a spot that overlooks you know kind of a a creek bottom kind of that hopefully will be good this area is wide open like antelope country I got in late last night well I'd say late last night after dark last night so I couldn't really see what was going on so I'm not sure exactly what it looks like and I also didn't get to go all the way down to the area I was thinking about going because when I got here there was a sign on the gate that said don't go past this spot so I'm not going past that spot I'm trying to follow the rules so hiking in this morning it's about 6 35 6 40 legal shooting light is 708 or 710 so trying to get in here close to the spot I want to be away from the road only like a mile or so and then I'm just going to start covering ground moving and try to find a buck so fingers crossed and maybe we can get on a Montana muley see what happens so I haven't seen anything yet there's a couple guys walking in back that way somewhere maybe probably less than a mile three quarters of a mile they're walking straight that way so I'm gonna head up this way there's some private land back over there I'm gonna kind of skirt the edge of it and uh, work my way around just glassing in you see all these little draws and hopefully to find the buck in there that's my friend has killed some bucks in here um, over the years he's hunted here a lot of times so he said you just have to cover all those draws and uh, just keep keep looking until you find them so that's what I'm gonna try to do it's pretty easy walking so nothing like the mountains I've been hunting so just keep covering ground hopefully I can find a buck so a whole bunch of nothing so far just coming out about three miles just blasting down in these little like draws like this and uh, I'm gonna glass all that stuff now and keep working that way towards all that stuff probably more like right keep working that way I know there are deer in here just have to find them just seen a whole bunch of cows so far I did see some ducks uh, on one of these little potholes has water in it so I'm gonna eat something and glass keep glassing and keep working that way I know the hunters that I saw were that way somewhere but I don't know where and, you know there's a ton of country out here you know you don't know how far other people are gonna walk or they might just hunt the morning I'm planning on hunting all day and I didn't bring my tent or anything so I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing a big loop or what I'm gonna do but uh, it's only about nine o'clock and uh, gonna just keep 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 it after it see if I can find a buck shoot So there's two guys like over here and then I saw another guy over there so that's awesome but I'm hoping I can kind of just stay on this it's like a road that probably just uh, I guess the ranchers use with their cows there and wrap around kind of on the back side all this stuff and they're all stay on that side I don't know not much I can do about it. I don't really like seeing other hunters but it is what it is So I have a pretty good plan now. You can see there's trees and stuff up there, bushes, whatever you want to call them. This ridge right here, if I get on it and walk it, I'll be able to glass down into all that stuff. And on the back side of that ridge looks like a whole bunch of more stuff just like this with bushes and everything. And I should be able to follow it way down there. I think I've hiked four or five miles now. So I'm, I'm in here ways. And I think the other hunters I've seen, well, I know they're they're on the other side of that ridge there. So hopefully I'm finally getting on my own a little bit 
and uh, maybe I can find a deer down in this stuff. Hopefully. It's starting to look better for sure. A little bit more cover for them to hide in. So this is where I'm going to glass for this evening. It's windy, but area looks pretty good. All that little timber, I mean, deer could definitely hide anywhere in there, so hopefully I can pick something out, maybe get a shot on it. Haven't decided if I'm going to hike back tonight or if I'm going to just sleep here on a ridge somewhere, get out of the wind, just sleep on the side of the hill somewhere. I just found a good buck. I was working over this ridge, I saw some does and sat down and glassed. I found a good buck. I gotta figure out how to shoot him. I got 30 or 40 minutes of legal light left. got a shot it was 430 yards there's been a little bit of a breeze but I didn't feel a breeze when I shot so I didn't hold for any and um, you see in the video I hit him back a little bit but he is quartering so I think a shot's gonna kill him but I can't go look for him tonight I just can't it's, I mean Hopefully got up there into some of the, the stuff and you know there was enough energy like he limped off like he was hurt bad and I can see this whole group of trees I've been watching it for 15 minutes he hasn't come out unless somehow he dropped all the way down the bottom but I think I'm just gonna hike back to the truck I'm away from the truck and uh, just let him be get up come in the morning and see if I can find him unless he just happens to try to limp out tonight and I'll shoot him again. So I'm back in here this morning. Shot that buck last night, hit him back. As soon as I hit him, I watched the video and saw I hit him back. He was quartering, so I'm hoping the bullet got in there. As soon as I saw where the bullet hit, I backed out. Uh, it's been, well, by the time I get over to where I shot from and walk directly to it, it's gonna have been about 15 hours since I shot him so uh, I didn't mess with him at all I saw him kind of go into a group of trees didn't see him come back out it was a big group but I'm hoping he just went in there and died um, I'm a four four miles as the crow flies from the truck more like 4.3 or 4.5 walking uh, I just saw a doe down here in this area I'm pretty close to where I shot him so I'm going to sneak in there, really hope he's in there, and uh, hopefully he's just piled up. That's all I can do. So uh, I'm going to spend some time looking for him. Hopefully it doesn't take too long, but if it does, I'm just going to do whatever it takes to find him. Hopefully he's dead. There's five does over there. I uh, wish I had found this area yesterday morning. I'd have sat here all day, probably seen deer all day, but hiked all over yesterday but at least I know where it is if I ever come back pretty close to where I shot the buck shot at the buck right there by that snow patch and there are some crows up there which is a good sign hopefully he's right up there fingers crossed you might can see him flying up there 
let's go look. I, I put this little uh, orange bag I keep with me out to mark my spot because I wanted to walk from where I shot straight up there so I knew I was going exactly the right spot. So let's walk up there and hopefully recover this buck. I got him, guys. <laughs> I just glassed him up. I was kept hearing like magpies and crows and stuff or seeing magpies hearing crows and I just glassed across and I saw him laying there right up here yes well guys here he is I knew he's a pretty nice buck uh, you see some hair and stuff magpies been tearing at his rear end pretty good but that's all right he's still good I might could have gotten him last night I shot him right up there he must have come down here. Uh, he's a nice buck, though. He's he's not stiff, though, so he hasn't been dead that long. So I probably made the right choice backing out last night. He's broken a little right there on the top. That's old, though. That's not a fresh break. That, that probably might have happened when he was in velvet. So uh, I'm happy. I was thinking about shooting that smaller buck, but I ended up getting a nice one. I'm going to set him up and do some pictures and stuff. So there he is, guys. Nice buck. Not wide at all. I never shoot wide muleys, though. I, I shot some tall ones, but I've never shot a wide one. So, uh, Pretty cool. Nice buck. I'm excited. I got to break him down and uh, head to the truck. And head home. Just have him ready to head home. So uh, it's been an awesome trip. Punched all my tags except for my uh, elk tag here in Montana, but I had a good chance. Just didn't come together. So um, cool buck, Eastern Montana. Uh, really cool. <laughs> Well guys, Montana was nice to me. Uh, pretty pretty place. First, it's only the second time I've ever hunted here. I hunted spring bears here a few years ago. Um, first time I've hunted in the fall and uh, worked out. Killed a really nice buck. I did 13 miles yesterday. I did 10 miles today and I got him back and uh, he's a nice buck. So uh, it all worked out letting him, letting him go overnight. I think that was the right decision. And um, now I'm packed up and heading home. So, uh, I'm going to stop and see my parents in Illinois on the way home and then the rest, the rest of the way. So I really appreciate you guys watching. If you are not already subscribed to the channel, please consider hitting that subscribe button so you'll be updated anytime I post new videos. And uh, we'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching.